Hi. Hi. How are you, friend? <laughs> no, I missed you. The, your song was so stunning, Christopher. Michael, yeah. thank you. It's, I mean, it's all God, really. <laughs> That's what I have to say. It's all God. Anything that was able to come out of my mouth and my body, it's, it's all God. I missed you last week. I know I missed you too, but I enjoyed harassing Michael in the chat. That yes. Was Wasn't he amazing? He is amazing. I was floored by his answer about the Trinity. It was very good. So, and that was an honest question. I always feel really confused about the Trinity, even though I like grew up in the church. So that was a, yeah, he laid it out. <laughs> you started off with a very, very, very good question. Hey, how you feeling? Uh, stronger every day. Um, yesterday I went for like a real walk um, and uh, it was pretty good. I don't have to use that sexy cane anymore. So <laughs> I feel really good. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm really kind of like looking forward to when it's all healed and done and I can sort of do all of the things that I haven't been able to do for a long time. So that's exciting, but thank you for asking. And I will take this opportunity to plug the meals ministry because I'm also, um, you know, involved with the meals ministry. So the meals ministry at St. Peter's, um, Chelsea has been sending meals since the surgery and it's been such a gift. And we've been able to do that for some other people as, you know, there's lots of new babies joining us and, you know, things like unexpected surgeries and things like that happening. And so um, I just would really, it's, it's been an incredible gift. Um, and I would just really encourage anyone who has any interest in that to reach out to me or to anyone at, uh, you know, in the administration and they'll sort of kick it back to me um, because it's just, it's a great way to show love to our family and we can't see them right now, right? Mm -hmm. But I definitely feel all of this like love and care and support just from these meals that are arriving and it's been so amazing. So I will just stop my plug there. I but love it. Hey, Martha, guess what? What? We're not alone. <laughs> Hi. 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 <laughs> Hi guys. No, we were not ignoring you and no, we were not just leaving you hanging. <laughs> Wait, can you, are you guys talking? Can we hear you? Yes, I hope so. Oh, yes, you can, loud and clear. Yes. So our as you can see, our surprise guests. <laughs> Um, we have actually invited Ajax to be on the call, but I failed to see him. Ajax, come on. here. Come here, buddy. <laughs> come, Ajax. Oh. Oh, there oh. he is. Oh, it's framed oh. much better now, oh. too. <laughs> Oh my gosh, how cute. And how do you keep your floor so clean with a pet? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of hair. You just don't, you don't see oh, it. Okay. It's, it's all in how it's styled. I don't know how we can all, okay, there we go. Oh, uh, everyone's in now. <laughs> Wait, Matt, we can't see your head. I know. You please do not feel compelled to have to do this for Ajax's sake. I mean, okay, if you guys are comfortable during this chat. So thank you for coming on. Yeah. Thank you for having yeah. us. Yeah. How are you? I think um when, when was the last time we got to see your faces? But how have you been? Read about you. Know, I think we probably read about four or five months ago, but that's it's been, it's been a while, while. yeah. Been a while. Uh, what, what have been some highlights of the past four or five months? Well, uh, we bought a house up in Westport, Connecticut, where we're sitting right now. And uh, that, that might be why the floor is clean, because yeah. it's a new house. Our, <laughs> yeah, the, the floor in our and, apartment back in New York City is a little bit hairier than this one. Yeah, and we've been sort of going back and forth uh, on the weekends and spending the weekends out here and, and in the city uh, during the week. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. Is it a neighborhood or a, a town that you're familiar with or is it all brand new? It's all relatively brand new. I think it's like, you know, it's like one or two towns past 
the geography we knew of uh, the Metro New York City. I, I knew Greenwich and, and kind of knew Darien, and this is two towns past that. Uh, I knew none of it. I'm from Texas. He's from Michigan. Yeah. Like, and every time we would go visit friends outside of New York City, we would say, well, I would say, I'm never going to leave New York City. <laughs> uh, why do people do that? And then, I don't know, COVID happened and everything changed. Yeah. Like a vacation every weekend. Yeah. That's, about That's a perfect example of never say never, right? Yes. Totally, totally, yes. yeah. yeah. Well, what's crazy is when we looked at our house here, um, we happened to know the other family that was also looking at this house during the open house. They, also, so many people have actually moved from New York City that it's like a little community here of people that we know. So we totally lucked out. Yeah. Wow. It's a fun town. It goes right from the beach all the way up to the woods. We're more on the woodsy side of town and uh, which uh, again gives Ajax uh, some some space to run around and uh, and uh, so so to the kids. Um, yeah, I noticed that Ajax is looking very svelte. <laughs> That's because I starve him. <laughs> that really does starve him. So he got put on a diet how many months ago? Ooh, oh, right after back. yeah, yeah. Right, right after the summer. Yeah, right after the summer. He basically gained. I don't know. He he. We, mm. Our dog sitter fed him about four weeks of food in three weeks or five weeks of food in three weeks. So then... yeah, Matt put him on a diet and it's like the one chore that the kids have. So they rotate, each kid feeds him like a different week and some of them feel bad about his restricted diet. So <laughs> some give them a little extra kibble, but for the most part, he's been like, he's been starving. <laughs> he looks good. He's ready. <laughs> yeah. Well, Catherine Kramer is saying, I love a fireplace. So you might have to open up. Three in this house. <laughs> Come on. Is that crazy? And we've only used two of them. <laughs> but every time we use them, apparently Matt sometimes forgets to close the flu. Oh. We learn that stink bugs come in. <gasps> oh, yeah. These Bugs, These yeah. are the learning curves of home ownership. Hello, <laughs> little one who just walked by. <laughs> right, we, you know. I love it. Thank you for uh, <laughs> 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 join. I love it. Uh, stink bugs. No one likes stink bugs, but um, um, Amy, if you want to know what stink bugs are, I I think it's best to Google and just be glad uh, Google is not a scratch and sniff. <laughs> Funny thing is they're actually totally harmless and you can pick them up and they're slow moving and just put them out of the house. As long as you don't smush them, you'll do all right. It's the smushing that, uh, and they don't, the odor. yeah, that the odor. it's their way of you want to kill me. This, <laughs> this is price. how I'm going out. This is how I'm leaving a blaze of smell, a blaze of smell. <laughs> Well, congratulations on your home and your three fireplaces and your beach. Thank you, guys. <laughs> thanks, thanks. It all sounds delightful. Yes, very fun. Quick yeah. question. Where in Texas are you from, Vina? Dallas. Dallas, the big D. Yes, Dallas. Wait, I thought Detroit was the big D. Well, that is also <laughs> a big Detroit, <laughs> Matt? I grew up in Detroit, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh. Well, they can both be then. We'll just extend it and make it large. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. Detroit, you have to be tough to come from that city, yeah? That's right. Straight from <laughs> downriver. Can't uh, you tell? <laughs> listen, you know, uh, I had my Detroit gutter punk phase, believe it or not. Um, Your Detroit gutter punk face. Phase. <laughs> phase. <laughs> Can you, can you do your Detroit gutter punk face? There's no face. It's just a phase. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. I had a, you know, I, I was going to punk rock shows, had a safety pin in my ear, the whole nine yards. You Whoa. Know, I would is, love to see that. All of this is oh, great to hear, but we need some photographic evidence here. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> we need to see that transformation. I love it. I love it. Well, shall we start our questions? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, she says. <laughs> They're good. They're fun. They're fun. Totally fun. 
Well, um, uh, let's start uh, with a super easy one. You want to go, Christopher? You want to pick one? Yeah, I'll start with the super easy one. Um, okay, both of you, one at a time. Describe a memory of one of your favorite moments in nature. <gasps> oh, okay. Um, so out here in this house, it's so magical. There's so much nature right outside. Um, I never, like, I've loved dogs my whole life, you know, but it's like the city and there's pigeons. And I have a little bird seed, bird feeder in New York City, but, you know, I don't get much there. Here, it's like, there's so many birds. So I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get to the point. My favorite one was the other day. I, after I took a shower, I looked out the window and I saw it looked like a family of deer and they were just coming up and they were right here. Then they came to like the swing set. They were right outside. I was trying to Google like, what can I feed the deer? Apparently they're considered pests out here, but um, it was so great, you guys. And so now I try to look out the window all the time and spot deer. I don't know, that's, that's mine. That's a good one. Okay. Matt, did you see the deer family too? I, I have seen the deer. I think I was the first one to see deer up here. No one could believe it. But yeah, they're, they, they're everywhere. Uh, they are the pigeons of Connecticut. Um, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, uh, I think, you know, one of, I think one of the, the, the I don't know, like most evocative uh, nature memories I have is when I was um, 17, I went on a mountaineering course out in the Pacific Northwest and I um, we, you know, we were spending time sort of uh, both doing, you know, alp alpine mountaineering. So you're up on the, on the glaciers and then other times down below uh, in, in the valleys. And, you know, as you go, you get sort of um, tougher and tougher. I was out, it was 30 days actually mountaineering and uh, sleeping up, you know, like, you know, being up in your tents on the glacier, like up a mountain, and then the clouds would settle down below your line of sight. So, you, you know, every, like, everyone else would just be seeing a cloudy night, but you're like up above the clouds and you'd have the, uh, the different mountaintops like popping up through the clouds. And so it really looked like, you know, this kind of magical fairy tale, you know, land where, you know, like it just looks like white fields in every direction because you're like on the snow, which goes to the cloud tops and then other mountaintops sticking up. I mean, I think like a, as like a natural memory, that's one that stuck with me for the last, you know, like whatever, 20 some years. Um, that's I, know, I, I know how old you are now. <laughs> Twenty-seven, right? Something like that. Twenty-seven years. Yeah, twenty-seven years <laughs> since then. Uh, the, so that's These like are... strong nature. And then, like a recent one. I think a recent one was uh, we, you know, doing the the we, this spring we did, and then we repeated it. I repeated it this fall with just with Cooper. We we did this loop up on the Appalachian Trail, kind of north of um, north of the city. And that was a lot of fun. I didn't realize there was so much elevation change so close to the city. That was mm -hmm. like, uh, news to me. I, I don't know. Growing up, hiking was always sort of flat. Yeah. Um, unless you're out like in the actual mountains. And, and right here, it's amazing. So close to the city, you can get, you know, real, real elevation change. Yeah. Well, being city people, brushes with nature is rare. And also being wintertime. Thank you for sharing some nature stories. Yeah, those are good ones. All right, here's another easy one. What is your favorite way to spend a day off? Uh, Although you guys have three kids and a dog, so there's really like... <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it, it's interesting. I think, I'd say that's an area where there's definitely some some yin and yang between Vina and myself. Like I, I like to find moments of stasis, you know, like just to find moments of like complete, not doing anything, not having a plan, not uh, having an, you know, uh, any, anything to achieve and just sort of uh, being lazy. Um, <laughs> that, that would be, that, that's one of my favorite ways to, you know, sort of, uh, although I'm now learning again, having a house, you start, you start learning like the business model of Home Depot, which is to like attract people to like do just little, little housey projects. Um, but you know, for me, it's, it's not doing much. 
Yeah, I mean, as you might extrapolate, mine's the opposite where I like, I love new things. Anything that's like, even a new restaurant or uh, like, I don't even know, um, a new museum, a new park, a new anything. Um, so it is funny, like if we like went on vacation, the two of us, which hasn't happened in quite some time, but when we would, we'd go on a beach vacation or something and he would, like our 10 year, we went to Hawaii, we celebrated just the two of us. So he's like, awesome, I'm gonna sit on the beach. I got this, like he'll sit on that beach the entire day um, and I'll say, you know, see you later, I'm gonna go explore, I'll go walk around the city, I'll go do whatever and then I'll come back. So we're just kind of different. That He likes going to the same places too. So he likes going back to the same restaurants and the same, we're just different that way. But you're a good balance, you figured out. Balance, so we, yes, yes. And now the kids are a little bit of each of us too. So um, sometimes we just, you know, I'll go off on an adventure and I'll take whoever wants to come with and then he'll hang out and, you know, with sit the, on the couch. Yeah, with whoever, whoever wants to yeah. Yeah, not move. <laughs> that's always Ajax. Unless I was just going to say, that's probably, Ajax is probably great for that. <laughs> yeah, he He's doing that right now. I love it. Okay, here's a question. Martha, I had a question on and then I took it off. And then you're gonna ask it again. I'm gonna ask it again. Do it. Um, the question is this. So you're on the dance floor and everyone's having a great time <laughs> and you're, a great song comes on, everyone's dancing to it. Describe or demonstrate <laughs> go to dance move. Oh, he has, oh. Ooh, this is a good one, Christopher. We <laughs> do a lot of demonstrate yeah. in there, I have. No dance moves. I'm the dancier one. Again, we're kind of opposite. Okay. So, like, so Vina, what is, what is, what is Matt's go-to dance move? It's like a white dude move, like oh. where he. Why, that's overbite. Yeah, the, oh, yeah, that thing. Don't you? No, I don't know, I don't know. It's like this? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Well done. I like it. I don't know. And and Matt, what is Vina's go-to dance move? I don't know. I got a lot of moves. I like yeah. to think I look good when I'm. I just like to dance. I think I actually look horrible. So Vina, what is one of your go-to moves? I don't know that there are names for these moves. Okay. Describe it. I want to put on some music, I'll happily dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> there's a lot of the hand go, there's some raising the roof, you know. There's a little bit of that. I like, I like that. I'm, I'm, love not it. Like, I'm not like you, like Leisha, you know, Thomas, when you, Christopher, I got none right. of that. Like, I would say Leisha and I are not like Leisha and Christopher when we're on a dance floor having fun. <laughs> Anything goes. It would be fun if we had a dance. Oh, didn't you guys do that? St. Peter's did a dance party recently for, was it Halloween or something? Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's I, right. That. I missed that. Well, thank you for sharing. That was that very was fun. That was very fun. See, this is fun, right guys? Yeah, if you ask me about the Trinity, I'm just gonna hop right out. <laughs> okay, let's do another question. Um, this is another fun one. What would be the first thing you would do if you won the lottery? Do you have an answer? Cause I actually thought about this with the mega millions recently. <laughs> No, I'm totally serious. It's like, but this is weird, you guys. Like, I would give it away. I don't even know who I would give it away to, but I would give it all away. Because you know why, though? And it sounds weird. It sounds like we're I'm an amazing person, but I'm not at all. I've just been, we have been so blessed. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like, I don't know. And there's so much, I'm gonna, there's so, so much need. I, that was the struggle was where to give it. Don't, I feel like for you, it would be dogs. 
Ajax? I would definitely, there's, you know, good dog therapy. Ajax is a therapy dog, I would give it there. But the lottery, I'm talking millions. That's like millions. Mm. That's not just dogs. That's like, <laughs> where would you give it? Do you know what I mean? Right now, there's so much need. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, unfortunately, I feel like a lot of the things I'd want to do, you know, you sort of like the, the hopes or dreams you have, it's sort of hard to understand like the path from money to those things. I, I'd say the, yeah, I mean, I really, I feel like we, there's not much, there's not much we need. If anything, we, we spend time thinking about like, how can we like not let our children uh, experience the- They don't need experience. any money. <laughs> privilege than they've Take already been exposed to. The, Seriously. They yeah, act I mean, like they need it. They, you know what I mean? We need help on that front. The uh, the anti-lottery. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think, look, I mean, like, like the great, I, I'd say like the great, um, I'd say like the great political and spiritual challenge for me is uh, when people have a fear of scarcity, in, in times of abundance, like when, when people are driven by fears of, you know, fear of scarcity. And so for me, it's like, it's hard for me to answer the lottery questions. I feel like for a lot of people, like you, you have to kind of like plumb the depths of like, oh, where do I have like a fear of scarcity? And I'd say that's like one of the great political challenges that, you know, finding ways uh, to, to sort of reconcile people in this country where their political beliefs have been driven by like fear of scarcity, like fear of there not being enough of something. And I, mm. I think- um, There's so much of that. And finding ways to like help people, uh, you know, see and unite around the sort of abundance that we, we have in this country that, that can be shared, that can be, um, I don't know. So for me, like the, I mean, I mean, my like, my my like, my lottery fantasy is usually like, yeah, the island of Kauai in 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 Hawaii. Um, but you know, I, I feel like that's where I would be this year if uh, you know, pan during pandemic, except that like the time zones and New York, like working New York hours in Hawaii, is like <laughs> struggling getting up at two in the morning every day. But uh, no, I I'd say it's. Uh, Oh yeah, I'd buy myself a chicken coop and some do extra dogs too, probably. Mm. And then I'd give that other money away. On <laughs> <laughs> chicken money. <laughs> the, desire, the desire for a chicken coop still uh, is be, it's it's a it's a it's a yin that's out of touch with my yang, but. Uh, <laughs> This is the most uh, profound question answer to the lotto question, Martha. <laughs> No, seriously. I'm, can ask a sociologist. <laughs> I'm a new person after hearing. I'm a new person after, <laughs> after hearing your responses. Right, seriously. and it totally puts my like, what would I do with lottery money to shame? So I will. Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hey, here's a question. Um, what's your favorite place in New York City? I mean, Central Park for me. That's an easy one. I'd say Central Park. You know, like. You know, we, you know, living up kind of near the park, having the dog off leash in the park before nine or after nine, sort of those nights. And especially, I mean, it was, it was definitely like, it was definitely like reinforced this past spring where you know, right after lockdown, the whole city felt alien in a lot of ways. Like it felt, you know, it was like the places that were supposed to be busy were empty. The places you want to see empty, like hospitals and ambulances were busy, like the whole, like it was a total inversion, but like, went, like, you know, walking with your dog in Central Park at 1130 at night felt the same as it always felt. It was like this, it was for me, it was this, uh, it was sort of like a, like my most normal part of my day was being able to like go to Central Park, walk late at night, have the dog off leash. Um, you know, that, that's for me, Central Park to me is more. I love, I love it all. I love New York City. So because it's like, you know, I like exploring and I used to, this is well before I met Matt. And when I was single in New York City, I had like no life. I still kind of, it's only my family that kind of gives me a life right now. 
but I had no life. So I would just, you know, I worked and then I had no friends or anything. So I'd just walk around the city and I'd walk and I'd explore and my eyeballs would take everything in. There's always something new. If it's a person, if it's a new store, if it's a cafe, you can go in and buy a coffee. And so I have to say, like, we got our minivan two years ago, three, three years ago. I was anti. I was like, because New York City is such a great <laughs> fucking city, you know? He was like, let's get a car. It's like, you're crazy. And then I came around and that car, especially during COVID, has been like, I can draw even going through Times Square during COVID. You know, it's like, everything is new. It's always new. There's always something to see. Or I'll read about like the new skate park. I'm going to go there. Or even like I used to, we used to live in the West Village. So we knew it intimately, but the city changes so much that like we drive down to the West Village. It's like, oh my gosh, like, look at that. Did you see this place? I want to check this out. Or going to church. Chelsea, a new neighborhood. Like, this is awesome. Let's go to La Bergamote. It's like the best. So there's so many, oh, lots of food. Okay, there's Chinatown. I mean, there's Chinatown ice cream factory. There's all these places. So usually like with the car, it's like an H Mart and Target. I know Martha, I told you I was going last week. It's like, I love it, all of it, you know? I love it. Um, Christine loves your love for New York City. And Leisha has proposed that when this is all over, the two of you will have a day in the city together. You, I'll drive you in my minivan. <laughs> yeah, the minivan's big. You can you put it on so Alicia, we can invite people. We can go cruising. And I'm not afraid of parking. I can park. <laughs> I'm so bad at parallel parking, but I'm not afraid. So I can park anywhere. I don't care if there's dents on my car. I will go anywhere. I will park anywhere, even tickets. <laughs> Sometimes even tickets, like I'll do the calculation, like how much will this ticket cost? Or should I go to a garage? You know, like, I love it. Leisha, yes. I love it. You know, that was the most middle-aged woman thing I've ever heard. <laughs> oh. Let's invite our 45-year-old friends in the minivan and we'll go. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Ice cream shop. Yeah. Yeah. You're coming with us. you coming. Oh, totally. <laughs> Um, we are not nearly through our 10 questions, but I did want to do a time check because it's 1127. And yeah. Don't get to those hard ones. Be, That's too bad. It has to be rapid round. I know, rapid round. Oh, these are not really rapid round questions. All right, let's do um, this. What's one thing that can instantly make your day better? Dogs. <laughs> well, then you, did you see the picture of Christine's dog? Christine? Oh. I think Brenna, Brenna, can you screen share Show it. Girl, show it. Here it comes. Oh. <gasps> oh. Come on. Come on. That's so Baxter. Cute. No. So cute. And the name, the name is so good. Just so you know, we named our children dog names because um, I always wanted to have a dog named Cooper. And I always wanted to have a dog named Bailey, but don't tell Bryn. That was a different one because we ran out of like other girl dog names. <laughs> Your secret is safe with us. <laughs> Mina, I love you. You're like my sister from another mister. <laughs> so vibe and love it. I love it. I love it. Matt, you're I don't know. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's like realizing that I had done something that I thought I hadn't done. That's all like, you know, like I've been forget, you know, it's like, you know, you have both moments. You have the moments like, oh, I thought I did it, but I didn't do it. Sometimes I have the reverse. Like I'm worried that I haven't done something and I realize it's done. Oh, it is done. Great. Like brightens my like day. what accomplishments. Yeah, works. Sometimes I definitely I have like I have like, oh, fear that something's not done at work. And then it's like, oh, that meeting got canceled. Oh, oh that's a good, <laughs> that is a good moment. I like those moments too. <laughs> Here's a question, uh, rapid fire question. What is the question people ask you most often? How do you pronounce your last name? Mm. I don't talk to people anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I really don't. I got nothing. 
Well, the people in your mind, what do they ask you most often? <laughs> Can I get this? <laughs> yeah, I feel like, uh... That's all I have to ask, because he just put a restriction on the iPads and <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. All I, can I get it? Can I get more time? Can I, can I have it? <laughs> That's legit. And true story, I don't talk to people anymore. Even at work, I just... Uh... <laughs> Oh gosh. Not enough people in your house, so it's all right. <laughs> and my Ajax is so amazing. I know dogs don't, don't talk ask questions. Love that. They don't ask you for anything with words. It's good stuff. <laughs> and when they do ask you, they're cute. Yeah. That's <laughs> true. That's true. Um, I'm gonna be mindful of time. Maybe we will not do I don't think we're gonna get through all 10 questions. So yeah. I think this is all oh, Ajax. Look at how cute you are. Um, that's just a good note to end on. Um, I love it. I, I, just to say, um, someone is announcing that at 3 p.m. today, there will be an inauguration sponsored by the shelter where the Bidens got their dog, Major, as a fundraiser. Tickets are available for a $10 minimum donation. Um, also to point out that Hyatt, uh, I think, would like his wardrobe fund, if you happen to win the lottery, his wardrobe <laughs> fund could use a little, you know, filling out there. So, um, he needs some zhuzh. Yeah. Um, actually, he's not getting it. <laughs> yeah, also, it's it's funny. Funny. Vina to be in the next dance collaboration. Yeah, Vina, you. Oh, are not that kind. <laughs> not the church kind. Um, I think there's no questioning it when when service when service calls. There's different um, yes. are, but also you know you better get your signs and banners ready because people are very interested in you running for mayor. <laughs> <laughs> that, so it must be true. Yeah, right. Nina for mayor. Been awesome. <laughs> Amazing. So Obviously, fun. this. Can this could be in two parts. Oh, you are fascinating people. So <laughs> okay. I love it. I love it. Love you guys. Love you love too. Hey, everyone. Love Have you. a good day. Bye. 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 Oh. I can't close out.